Hi, I'm Ms. Pozak, and I'm going to show you how to log in to Lexia Zern in Extra Math and also how to see what progress your child is doing because every day they're supposed to get one Zern lesson done, three Lexia units, and then one time on Extra Math. And so it would be helpful if you guys knew what that looked like. So the first thing you need to do is go to clever.com. And if you're using a Brookside device, it should already be like on the homepage or whatever. Click Login as Student. The first time that you log in, you're going to need to type in the district Brookside Charter School and then just click on any of the Brookside Charter Schools. And then you'll give your login information. Your username is a five digit code. I'm logging in as a student. And then your password is a four digit code. Um, and then you can click to save those to your computer so that you never have to look at them again. So now once you're on Clever, it gives you um, a bunch of different resources that we have. So I'm not quite sure what Class Dojo is going to do. Zern is the math program. Alexia is the reading program. If you scroll, there are some more options as well. So I'm going to show you. You're going to click on the Alexia and you're going to log in. And when you log in, it's going to take a minute to get the thing done. But then it's going to look like this. So this is that child's um, Lexia that she has done so far this week. You can see all of these stars are levels that she's already passed. She's on level five, which is end of the year kindergarten level. That is the right level to be on. If you're higher or lower, that is fine because we're all you know, getting this practice done. So you can see this middle circle tells you how many minutes that she's done this week. And then the circle on the right, the green circle, tells you how many units she's done this week. So units is what we're focused on. In theory, you should be doing three units every day or 15 units in a week. If you get those 15 units done in one day, cool, great, perfect. If you want to do more, you definitely can. Lexia tracks minutes because each unit should take about five minutes to do. But if you're struggling, if you're not focused, you know, it might give you different amounts. Like if it's a really hard unit that you're on, Obviously, it's not going to take you five minutes, but if it's really easy, you can just blow through a bunch of units. So again, we're focused on this green circle on the right side that says how many units are done, and I can see how many units are finished each week. Um, Lexia doesn't update immediately, so if you log out of Lexia and log back in because you know your kid's like, hey, I finished, I'm done, X out, and then you're like, oh, wait, I want to see it's not going to always tell you the right number of units. It, it updates about once every hour or so. So trust your kid for the time being. And then in an hour or so or that evening, you can log back in and see how many units are actually done. So don't freak out if it's you watch them do a whole bunch of work and then you click and it says they've done nothing. So it's not going to update immediately. So whenever you go on Lexia, then you click this and then you're going to move on. I'm not because obviously I don't want to do this work for her. But you have two choices of something that's going to go really quickly and just kind of be just some practice. This, let me show you. This is what the teachers won. So it's not going to ruin any kids. So you have a minute to complete a simple task. And so it'll tell you a word and then you say, is it an a or an I or an at or an A or whatever it is. Um, I'm not going to do that. Now we're back to the teacher mode because I clicked X. So this is what Lexia will look like. It's got a fun little thing with some fun animation. You can always skip past that. And this is what Lexia will look like. So you have five different circles which are five different things. Um, so this is simple word chains, medial vowels, word picture matches, whatever. So each circle has a different little mark in it and those are units. So this circle takes four units to finish and this one unit is already completed. If it's something that's really easy for your kid, like maybe they just really are good at simple word chains, that's probably going to be the unit that they want to max out first. And once you do all four of these units, you can't click on it again until you finish everything else in here. And then there's a second half. And so after you finish these two halves, then you pass the level and go to the next level. So like in this um, 
level, you have two, four, six, eight, nine units that you need to do with sight words, but only four for simple word chains. Once you finish simple word chains, because maybe that's easy for you, you can't click on that again until you finish these four. But when you go to the second half, then you can go back to it because it's going to make it a little bit harder again. If there's something that you have seen your kid on and they're struggling with it, please help them with it. Like don't give them all of the answers, but sit next to your kid and kind of help them out because otherwise they're just going to get frustrated if they have like maybe one or two units or all the other circles are completed and there's one circle that isn't finished. They're probably struggling and Hopefully, if you give them a little bit of guided practice, they'll be able to understand it and get it. Um, so now let me show you what Zern looks like and how you can see how many Zern lessons your child completes. So again, I went back to the Clever and then I clicked on Zern. And so we can see that she has completed some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and click on Start for this. I'm not going to ruin anything. But if you look at the top here, it says M1L4. So that's module one or mission one, lesson four. So whenever you finish a lesson, it'll tell you that you have completed the lesson and it'll say, wow, you've unlocked lesson five or whatever. So every week you need to do five lessons. And so hopefully she gets this lesson done and she'll be on lesson six by the end of it. But it's a little bit harder to see because it doesn't always just say, hey, you're done. This is what lesson you're on. You've completed this number of lessons on the child part. As a teacher, I can go in and I can see if how many lessons they have completed. And then last, I'm going to show you how to go to Extra Math. So extramath.org, and then you're going to click Sign In. As a student, you should have received an email that says um, to sign in as a parent. Um, to create a parent account, which is free. But if you haven't, then you can type in my email address, mposak at brooksidecharter.org, and then your child's name, um, and Brooklyn C, your child's first name, and then last initial, and then your PIN, which is on Class Dojo, but also it is the same as your password for Clever. Um, and so then you're going to go to Extra Math. And this guy's going to talk to you for a little bit. It's going to be a great time. And you can see that this kid has all these green problems or problems that this child knows fluently. So basically, it takes about 10 minutes and you are going to practice all of these for a little bit on the first round. Then you're going to go to the second round, which is race the teacher, and you're going to practice like maybe five to 10 problems. And those are ones that they really want to drill in you that they're like, hey, let's practice these. Let's get good at them. And then you're going to do a third round that I believe is race the teacher again. And after you're finished with that, it will say you are done. And then you click and it signs you out. And that is how you know that you have finished extra math. As a teacher, again, I can see whether or not you've done it. And I can see a whole bunch of other great information with it. But you just kind of need to make sure that your kid actually, you know, clicked and logged into extra math is really the only way that you can see it. Um, you can see whenever I clicked back home that it's got an arrow and it says that she's incomplete. So she hasn't finished this because obviously I didn't do it for her. Um, if it has a green check mark, that means that she did complete it. Your child did finish it and they're done for the day. So hopefully this not very quick, but very informational tutorial helped you understand how to track your child's progress on Lexia Zern in Extra Math. Your teachers would love to give you that information as much as we can. And if you ask us, you know, how much work has my kid gotten done, we will definitely tell you, but we don't want to give you, you know, too much information if you don't want it. So definitely ask for whatever information you want. Um, and we will gladly give it to you because it is easier to see all this stuff from the teacher side than the parent side. Um, anyway, I hope that this helped and that you guys have a great day.